guys, we are back. Today, we decided to come to Huffman, Alabama to the Alfreda Mine System. It was closed in 1953. Now, we are trying to find an actual open mine that we might be able to go and explore. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find some really cool stuff today and we're gonna take you along with us. So, let's get this journey started. Oh, did you find something cool, dude? Antline tunnels or funnels. What it is, is a little insect lives under the sand and it creates a funnel. And say an ant like this one crawling around gets in there, the ant line will start flicking sand from the bottom of the funnel to knock the ant down into the funnel. And once down in the funnel, the ant line has these large front pinchers on his head. He will grasp the ant and pull it under and then drain it of its juices. Then when he's done, he'll push it back up through the sand and toss it out of the funnel and wait for his next victim. Eventually, once it's good and plump, the ant lion will make a small round cocoon and stay like that for a little while until he starts emerging and he'll be similar to a damselfly-like creature. Like yeah, well, it looks like this one is a no-go as well, but we can mark it off the list. We've still got, what, three more? Four more. Four more. Sorry. All right, onward. All right, well, we are in hunt for mine number two, but you know we have to do some rock hounding. I mean, come on, that's just a given. What you got here, bud? I haven't seen nothing yet. This is just a cool little washout that he noticed, and we wanted to come check it out. I always do washouts, because stuff washes out all the time. I mean, look at this. You can imagine what could have been up there, or what is here. <laughs> problem is sandstone not good for preserving fossils necessarily it's one of the least favorite not the best thing huh yeah yeah sedimentary rock don't really hold its shape too well over time uh, it's too porous Mine too. We gonna find a hole. And maybe, just maybe, it'll be deep. We're just having a conversation about uh, about different things and like making these videos. I mean, no offense, but we make these for us because we enjoy doing it and we want to be able to have a video log of us going out in nature. It's the whole reason we started videoing because uh, Jeremy and I over there, we always had, we always liked going outdoors. And one day we just decided to start filming it. So we do greatly appreciate all the support and anybody that does subscribe to the channel, we do greatly appreciate it. And we hope you do enjoy the footage that we put out. And maybe one day we'll be able to meet you out hiking in the woods. Just don't be wearing a mask, I might shoot. Ah, looky here, looky here. 
You have to love this time of year. The flora and the fauna in full bloom. Yeah. It's not a rose, but it's nice to stop and smell them every once in a while, see? Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Lead ahead, navigator. Hey, you want to hear a bad joke? Here's somebody killed the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. Dude put his batteries in upside down. He just kept on coming and coming and coming. Yeah. Okay. There's your horrible joke for the day. All right. Coming out of the woods from where the entrance to the number one mine out here. And we're back up, uh, along the utility trail. And we're heading toward mine number two. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck. Down that way? All right. Woo. Yeah. In case you can't hear him, no toilet paper. Do not use that. Unless you just like red itchy rashes. And yeah, smelling like calamine lotion. Yeah. I tell you what, if if you are willing to use that as a uh, as toilet paper, I will personally pay for you to come out here and we'll take you snipe hunting. So, I believe if we cut right through there, we'll hit a little, what a little. Uh, road it's an old road though so let's try that i don't want to climb that <laughs> yeah that don't look very nice over there i mean yeah what if i had to let's take the path less way. falling yeah oh if you've ever been to the south you'll know that most of our greenery is made of thorns and briars and things that are prickly i'm just kidding but there is a lot of it especially when you're out in a place like this if they don't get you the sugars will <laughs> ow and always make sure to check for tips Hey! Check that out. I think that's a barred owl. Yeah. yeah. It definitely does look like one. It's pretty though. Look at the dark spot here. Yeah. I think that's some sad. Yeah. There might be a little blood. That is beautiful though. Look at that. Could be blood of his last victim. That was a healthy bird. Yeah. Still around there somewhere. All right. We now we're onward through the little trail. Yeah. Just up ahead, huh? Yeah. Cool. Up that way. Up that way. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, we had to cut off our little trek to mine number two because it would uh, we would have actually had to go right on the side of the freeway. 
and there's no guarantee it's even there. And if it's that close to the freeway, it's most likely been, been, yeah. So we are going to head and try to find mine number three, which is up and over the hill that way. So let's go. Well, guys, to tell you the truth, we've been walking along trying to find stuff and just trying to find anything that might be remnants of show where this was an old mining area. And we haven't really been able to find much of anything until all of a sudden just walking and boom. Don't even know what it is. Well, it, it is deep. Wow, that is real deep. What do we have here? It is drainage. Okay, this has absolutely nothing to do with the mining industry. This is when they decided to build drainage to go underneath this road that they built. So, yeah. 